Another federal execution is scheduled for tomorrow here in Terre Haute. Christopher Vialva is scheduled to be executed tomorrow, marking the seventh just this year. Newsom's Dominic Miranda caught up with an anti-death penalty activist. He explains her unique perspective on this execution. Ashley Kincaid Eve has been at each of the last six protests here in Terre Haute against the death penalty. Her communication with Christopher Vialva began after he actually saw one of my previous stories covering death penalty protests in which I interviewed her. She says that inspired him, caused him to write her a letter, and from there, their relationship began. I've received letters from dozens of death row inmates, and they'll be the first to tell you this is not a place where you find lots of genuine, honest, good people. But Christopher Vialva is the light in the dark, and if there's anybody in this country deserving of clemency, it is him. Christopher Vialva was just 19 when he and one other man carjacked and killed a young couple in Texas while also setting their car on fire. He's been on death row for 21 years and is set to be executed on Thursday. But Ashley Kincaid Eve says since their communication began in August, she's witnessed the transformative power of redemption. The person on the receiving end of my letters is unlike anybody I have ever encountered in this movement. Activists that have protested hundreds of executions are brought to tears for Christopher in ways that they've never been brought to by anybody else. Because of a letter she posted on her Facebook page from Christopher, Vialva's legal team reached out to her. She's now a part of his representation and is working to humanize him and all those scheduled to be executed. She says Thursday definitely won't be easy. It'll literally be one of the hardest things that I've ever done. If his life ends on Thursday, his story is not going to end. He has inspired me in ways nobody else has, and I truly think that if we can show the world these human beings, then I think that we will see that we don't need to kill them. Kincaid Eve says Vialva drives her passion even more in working to abolish the death penalty. Reporting in Terre Haute, I'm Dominic Miranda, News 10.